The blister beetle produces a chemical that makes it bad tasting to predators, but also severely irritates human skin. Some people use it to treat warts. Adults feed on pollen and nectar, but larvae are predaceous, feeding on grasshopper eggs, and some live as parasites in beehives. Blister beetles have this characteristic foot formula and generally have soft wing coverings and a head that is wider than the pronotum, that is, that segment between the head and the body. Blister beetles contain cantharidin, a nasty chemical called Spanish fly that was the original Viagra, but it was so dangerous that one either got it up or died. It's cheaper than Viagra. Gross, it's a bug. No, actually it's a beetle. Whatever. Men are so stupid. False blister beetles have elongated soft bodies with a prothorax that is wider on the front part than on the rear and narrower than the elytra. Larvae munch on rotten wood, while the adults like pollen and nectar. Metallic wood borers have larvae that feed on dead or rotting trees, or make galleries into roots, leaves, or stems. The majority of the some 800 species are metallic green, blue, yellow, or red, and have bodies that are flattened and bullet-shaped. The body has a groove where the femur fits into it, and the antennae are short and serrate. Hister beetles have distinctive elbowed antennae enlarged at the end. A favorite food of theirs is dung. Their elytra don't cover all of their abdomen. That's right, a tumbling flower beetle. They can be found feeding on pollen and nectar during the day. Longhorn beetles, they get their name from their exceptionally long antennae. Another cool thing is that their eye partially wraps around the antennae socket. The mandibles are strong and can bite the crap out of you if you're not careful. And as you can hear, they make a loud squeaking noise. This metallic longhorn can often be seen flying through cloud forests with its body at an angle looking quite scary. The larvae of many longhorns eat wood, which is a vital part of forest decomposition, but not much appreciated by foresters. One of the most spectacular of all the beetles is the harlequin beetle. The mottled elytra make for good camouflage when resting against tree bark. The adults feed on sap. Reception is greatly improved after a thorough cleaning of the antennae. And better reception can result in a better sex life. This mean machine has powerful jaws for gnawing wood. Ah, nice antennae ring. It's not advisable to piss these guys off. Many longhorns are mimics of other insects, including stinging ants, bees, wasps, and unpalatable netwing beetles, while some, like this one, exude rank substances that nearly make you gag. An unusual defense is to whip out stinging hairs along the antennae. The variety of longhorn beetles seems endless.
Leaf beetles are a hugely diverse family, which include these tortoise beetles. They sparkle from all sides and look like biological fool's gold. Some tortoise beetles are known to care for their young until old enough to fend for themselves. Leaf beetles are active during the day and can be seen munching on, well, leaves, but you knew that. Some leaf beetles have become agricultural pests, like this cucumber beetle, because they feed on foliage. Unfortunately, when farmers spray pesticides, innocent, beautiful bystanders get zapped too. It's easy to see how leaf beetles can be a problem in a garden. Devouring this garden plant is a matter of hours. Nice helmet! Yahoo. The abundance of seeds in a rainforest provides food for the seed beetles, a family characterized by an oval shape, a clubbed antennae, and notice the elytra don't cover all of the abdomen. Brented beetles are long and narrow, with a long straight head and a beaded antennae. They live on trees or under bark, and some even on flowers. They are considered to be primitive weevils. Whoopee! With over 7,500 species in Costa Rica, this is the largest beetle family in the country. Some 50,000 species are known around the world. A weevil of some sort can be found almost anywhere. Ah! Their long snouts with the antennae towards the tip give them a comical look. And, of course, they walk the walk of weevils. At the end of the snout, they have strong mandibles that they use to open seeds and nuts for feeding. Both larvae and adults feed on some parts of plants, whether dead material or live tissue. Weevils just love a romp in your kitchen's flower. Some weevils are pests, such as the boll weevil and palm weevils. They destroy coconut palms and oil palms by both direct feeding and by transmitting a nematode pest. But the vast majority of weevil species are just doing their part in the ecosystem. Hang on there, buddy. Bark beetles are mostly small black species found inside woody plant tissue. One has become an enemy of Costa Ricans, the coffee borer, one of few coffee pests. While not a major threat to this traditional Costa Rican crop, the government gets the word out to prevent serious losses. To find a member of this group is easy. Under a cecropia tree, grab an old leaf and split it open. The cecropia petiole borer is usually found burrowing through the stem. After the male digs into the stem, he attracts a female by pheromones. He makes a passing lane where he mates with the female, who then digs more tunnels where she lays her eggs. Remember, beetles rule, and there are a lot more beetle families out there that deserve your attention. The majority of tropical beetles are still unknown to science, and you just never know where you'll find a new species.